The recent Ocean Gate submarine tragedy has brought the dangers of submarine diving to the forefront of the public consciousness, the ethically questionable memes based on the disaster notwithstanding. But that's not what this video is about. Instead, I want to talk about another horrible diving accident that occurred in the near past, one notable for just how gruesome it was. On November 5th, 1983, at 4 a.m., a grisly decompression accident occurred on the Biford Dolphin semi-submersible drilling rig in the Frigg gas field in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea. The accident resulted in the deaths of four saturation divers, as well as a diving tender. The submersible was 1,400 feet below the surface, in the dark depths of the sea, when a connecting flange between two diving chambers was opened incorrectly, resulting in the sudden decompression of the inner chamber. Normally, the procedure for opening the flange would go like this. Step 1. Close the diving bell door, which would have been open to the passage to the diving bell, or the trunk. Step 2. Slightly increase the pressure in the diving bell to seal the bell door tightly. Step 3. Close chamber 1's door, which was also open to the trunk. Step 4. Slowly depressurize the trunk until it reached a pressure of 1 atmosphere. Step 5. Open the clamp to separate the diving bell from the chamber system. The first two steps had been completed when tender William Crammond mistakenly opened the clamp that was keeping the trunk sealed before one of the divers, Truls Helovic, had closed the door to the chamber. The air pressure inside the chamber instantly went from nine atmospheres the pressure experienced while hundreds of feet below the water, to one atmosphere, the normal air pressure at the surface. The force of this rapid decompression was so powerful, it created a shock wave that was felt throughout the rig, and in that instant, everyone aboard was doomed. The explosive rush of air out of the chamber sent the heavy diving bell flying, killing Crammond, who was standing next to the chamber when it exploded because he was operating the flange. A second tender, Martin Saunders, was seriously injured but ultimately survived the accident. The fate of the four saturation divers inside the chamber, however, was far worse. According to autopsy reports, three of the men inside the chamber, Edwin Arthur Coward, Roy P. Lucas, and Bjorn Yaver Bergerson were killed instantly by the force of the decompression. The fourth diver, Truls Helovic, was in the process of trying to secure the inner door when the rapid decompression occurred. As a result, he was sucked through the partially blocked doorway, which resulted in the bisection of his thoraco-abdominal cavity and the fragmentation of his body, followed by the expulsion of all of the internal organs of his chest and abdomen, except the trachea and a section of small intestine, and of the thoracic spine. His body parts were scattered as far as 30 feet within the rig due to the blast. There are several factors that contributed to this catastrophe. The clamp that held the diving bell in place was faulty, for one. Additionally, the divers were not wearing protective gear that would have helped to protect them from the effects of decompression. And finally, the decompression chamber was not properly designed to withstand the sudden drop in air pressure. There's also the factor of human error, which we can't discount. It is not clear whether the tender who opened the clamp before the trunk was depressurized did so by order of his supervisor, on his own initiative or because of miscommunication. At the time, the only communication the tenders on the outside of the chamber system had was through a bullhorn attached to the wall surface. With heavy noise from the rig and the sea, it was hard to listen in on what was going on. 
The Bifur Dolphin incident was one of the worst diving accidents in history. It led to sweeping changes in the North Sea and in commercial diving safety worldwide. New regulations were introduced to improve the safety of diving chambers and procedures. The Bifur Dolphin incident is a reminder of the dangers of diving in high pressure environments. It also serves as a testament to the importance of safety procedures and training in preventing diving accidents, something we should definitely consider in light of the recent Ocean Gate submarine accident. Thanks for watching, you guys. Stay safe out there, and remember, don't get scared out of sorts.